Hey y'all, hope y'all doing well. This is Tanetta, of course your cookie baker, but of course your cook today again. I'm doing another cooking demo. This cooking demo is going to be an oven bake um, of chicken thighs, potato, sliced potatoes, and green beans. So like I said, this is definitely something that um, a busy family can of course make, of course. Um, uh oh, A busy family can of course make and bake and that kind of thing. To take it and put it on into the oven and let it do it do its work. I guess I put it that way. So let me try to flip this. Hold on, y'all. So y'all can see what's going on here. Uh oh. As long as I get it. Y'all should be able to see. Okay, yeah, you can see that. I just want to make sure. Okay, I got my little handy dandy cutting board, my knife right here. You see the chicken over here. Um, I had to cook the whole pack because I made a boo-boo yesterday, but I have to cook the whole pack actually. So but what I've done with the chicken is put um some um, minced garlic. Let me see. This kind of I got it from Walmart, but it's minced garlic. Um, some lemon pepper seasoning, and I got to put some more on there. It's only got a little bit on here actually. That's all I've done so far. So, like I said, I definitely want to get this out of the way before I um actually start it with y'all, so I can have some of this done already. But like I said, definitely there we go. That's all I need to put on there. But like I said, definitely um. This meal should be very easy. Um, and I'm going to be cutting up some lemon. Well, first the potatoes and then the lemon and the garlic. I mean, the lemon and the. Uh, Lord, am I saying that right? I mean, the lemons, Lord. Because I'm putting some. Um, what are these things? Lord, green beans in there too, y'all. I'm getting confused now. But I'm putting some green beans in there. And like I said, I do have to cut up the potatoes and the lemons to put them in the meal. The lemons will be the last thing actually I cut up. Uh, but. Like I said, for this meal, I'm just pouring this stuff on here, y'all. It's not in any kind of particular way at all. And like I said, the potatoes will go on here as well. I'm hoping this pan is big enough. It should. I don't know. It should be. I was going to make it in two pans, but I didn't feel like doing two pans. And now I'm thinking I probably should have, actually. All right. Let me get another pan. Let me get my little glass pan here. There's too much chicken on this tray. I'm trying to get all this together. I don't think that's going to go together right now. So I'm going to have to actually make two, um, two trays of this. Because I have so much damn chicken. So, <laughs> like I said, I have to cook the whole entire tray of chicken. Um, uh oh. So, how about. I get these. I go ahead and spray this pan. Y'all may see this little pan over here. I'm getting like a little glass pan together. Uh oh, let me move this out the way right quick. But I'm getting this glass pan together so I can put the string beans in there, y'all. And I'm gonna put some garlic and some little seasons on top of that too. But let me go ahead and get that out this pan so I can go ahead and. Cause I'll just make the chicken separately, y'all. Oh, you know, I'm putting butter in there. And I will be putting butter in this just to let y'all know. So this is a little bit too much to put on this sheet. But I will be having butter in here as well. So it'll be fine. It won't stick. To, it shouldn't stick to the bottom of that at all. I got to use an awful lot of butter. Probably about a stick of butter. Some for the chicken and some for the green beans and potatoes. So like I said, after I get this, I'm going to go ahead and get some lemon cut up. So I can go ahead and put it into the... Put this chicken into the oven. Uh oh. I started making it all together because that's not gonna seem like it's gonna work, y'all. So I guess if y'all learned this from me, don't put all this stuff on a pan unless you got a pan that's super duper big. And this, and like, a, this pan is actually big enough for this bake. But like I said, with all this chicken, it just ain't gonna work like that, y'all. So give me a second. So. I don't edit anything over here, so you see seeing this whole process take place. I put it that way, so... Uh-oh, hold on. Give me a little green beans. There's probably going to be a few green beans still in there, which is not going to kill it, so it's all going down all together, so... There we go. Okay, so let me move this little pan out the way and go ahead and get the, um, the lemon cut, actually. So I can have some lemon on top of that and put some butter on it. Take off the potato. All right. And I've already washed these lemons just in case I want to. Like, she putting this nasty lemon on her. 
They've already been washed, y'all, just to let y'all know. I actually got four lemons actually over here. But they've all been um been washed already. Uh oh. And I'm not removing the seeds. Like I said, we'll see the seeds on here. Um, so we can just take it on off. But I'm I'm putting half a piece. I may put another piece, we'll see. But I'm putting half on each one of these pieces of chicken, actually. And I may, like I said, do another little piece on her too. So let me see, let me see. But like I said, this meal, um, like I said, is easy. Usually easy peasy. I put it that way. But like I said, since I didn't put all this chicken on her, I have to actually kind of do two of them. So trust me, if you're only cooking like four or five chicken um, thighs or chicken breast, you can use this with chicken breast, chicken thighs, whatever kind of chicken you want to make with it. Uh, but you, you shouldn't have to use that much unless you have a really big family. Then, of course, you have to use two pans like this, too. So, uh-oh. And I'm going to take one of these pieces of lemon and actually squeeze the juice on her, too. So we can have some actual juice going on up in her. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to. I'm doing it. But like I said, you don't have to. Uh oh But I just want to make sure the lemon taste is on her, y'all. So I'm sprinkling. I'm squeezing one um piece of a lemon on top of all the chicken half on each side they had a little bit left so here we go all righty i'll set that to the sound let me get the butter 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 so i move this on up so y'all can see me putting some butter like i said i don't know i'm putting uh, uh um putting some Tablespoons of butter. Like I said, I'm going to use a lot of this butter actually for this. Just to let y'all know. Uh-oh. I'm putting, I don't know how many tablespoons yet. Probably about four maybe on this whole meal. So I'm putting a piece in between each one of the pieces of chicken as soon as I get it off the fork. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Try and be careful not to touch it. But actually all this is going into the meal, so I don't really think that matters actually. But um, like I said, definitely putting some butter on this so it can sizzle on in the oven. Let me I have to scoot this over too. And don't get alarmed. Like I said, I'm definitely using all this butter for the other part too. So I can touch this with that. It's going to be fine, y'all. It's going to be fine. Trust me. Because <laughs> it ain't like I'm using a whole totally different thing of butter and using this for something else. It's all going in the same, same exact meal. Uh-oh. There we go. Come on over here. There we go. And like I said, that's how I'm using the butter. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the oven, y'all. Uh oh. Okay. The oven has already been preheated to 350. So it's going in the oven um, probably about 35 or so, 40 minutes. But it's going on into the oven. So give me a second, y'all. I'm putting it in there. Okay. So back to the green beans and the potatoes. I'm going to scoot that back. Like I said, I already got some lemon. Oh, I just put this, I put this on there. Cause I've already been, like I said, cutting the lemon up. So I'm gonna go ahead and strap these little pieces on in here. Oops, Lord, Lord, Lord. And I'm just, like I said, there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just putting them on in there. Like you can just drop them on in. Like I'm dropping them on in right now, so. But like I said, I got potatoes and I got, let me see, two more lemons over there. Um, I may not have to use both of them. We'll see. We'll see. And I'll save this one to actually sprinkle across the top of it. So I ain't gonna worry about that. Okay. Alrighty. So let me go ahead and start cutting up these potatoes. And like I said, the season's gonna be the same. It's all gonna be lemon and garlic. Just to let y'all know. And like I said, this is our dinner for tonight. So it's probably gonna be for tonight and the next few nights. Probably tomorrow too, I'm sure. Lunch and dinner, but but it's fine. <laughs> like I said, I'm sure to be dandy. I'm sure of that. And I may have to um so I'm probably gonna put a little bit of olive oil on these potatoes because I would hate that it sticks in the bottom of this pan, even though it shouldn't. But mm, with the butter, I think it should be okay with the butter though. And if not, y'all will be eating some tall potatoes, which is fine. <laughs> but I'm sure it should be okay at the bottom. I'm thinking. 
because I'm going to have the butter in there too. So it should be all right. Should be all right. So like I said, I'm just throwing this stuff on in here. Like I said, there is no specific way you have to do this at all. Um, just cut them up, throw them on in there. Because like I said, it's all going to be kind of mixed up anyway. Going into the oven. The only thing you kind of had to do some good work with, well, of course, is cutting up these potatoes and the lemons. But of course, preparing the chicken. Like I said, the chicken had the butter, the lemon pieces, um, and uh, of course, like the lemon pepper seasoning and a little bit of garlic powder I put on there too. It's a tiny bit. Uh oh. Like I said, this meal, as long as you have, if you have kids, they can, of course, help you cut this stuff up. Um, if as long as they're old enough to cut, I put it that way. If they're not, don't have them cut it up, I guess. But if you have older kids or kids that's at least over 10, 12, and how to use a knife and know how to cut up some food, definitely have them help you with this. Because kids love to learn how to cook and love to do things as well. So, like I said, you may never know, you may create a a chef or um, a homemade cook, never know. They may love doing this, want to cook dinner all the time and take some weight off you too, if that's the case. But like I said, definitely utilize the kiddos if you have some. Yes, they're with you, they can help. Even if they're just washing off the potatoes or cutting up the lemon or cutting up these potatoes, like I said, they can definitely help. Or putting the butter into the pan in little packs. Just show them how to do it. And like I said, it'll be a good meal for everybody. Uh oh, um, this potato has a little bit of dark stuff on it. I'm going to cut that off. There we go. I'm going to cut that little piece off. All right. I'm just cutting these in. You can cut these into twos. I'm cutting some of these into sixes because I don't want them to be um, not done when I take it out. So I'm going to make sure they're not too small, but of course, not too big either. I guess I'd say that. But you can cut them how you want to cut them, even if you want to have full baked potatoes. That's kind of up to you, too. You can do that as well. And just have that instead of the green beans and all that. But like I said, I wanted some veggies in here, too. So I definitely got the veggies in here. Because most things I think I make has veggies. It, if it's not all veggies, actually, because I usually make a whole lot of veggie bakes and stuff like that. So some of that, some of it's all veggies and some of it's not. But I don't want to starve my poor, poor partner to death. <laughs> I want to make sure he has something he can eat, too. <laughs> uh oh. So like I said, this is a very easy meal. This is a family meal for anybody. So as long as you like chicken, I guess, and stream beans and potatoes. <laughs> And this should be a hearty meal, of course. Like I said, this going to last us several days, I'm sure that. Probably into Thanksgiving, probably. So, <laughs> with all this um, food. Like I said, it'll definitely be something good we can have for lunch for leftovers, too. So I'm usually coming home for lunch. Like, what am I going to eat? This is already done. Well, this will be done. <laughs> It'll be a good, um, like I said, lunch meal, too. He can take some to work or eat some before he goes to work or when he gets home or whatever. The same thing. I said, you can definitely eat it. Definitely be a good meal. Uh oh. Now, I know there's, um, of course, you can, if you want to add different kind of seasons, you don't have to use the lemon and the garlic. This is just what I'm using for this. Um, you can use honey and lemon or. Um, you can use oranges, limes, it depends on your taste, but if you like, you can use all kind of, well, those particular citrus fruits, <laughs> I would say, to go on top of your chicken. You can use pineapple. I ain't had no pineapple, so I couldn't use pineapple, but I've, I've done that a, about a month ago. I think I did some, posted some pictures on the page. You can check them out. But I made, um, like a Caribbean meal with some pineapple, chicken, and, um, some coconut rice is what I made, actually. So I'm trying to experiment with different things. And learn how to cook different things. I don't know how to cook everything. So but thanks to Pinterest and things I'm just thinking out the side of my head, just putting them together. It's been working. I guess I put it that way. So I know I usually make you look at Pinterest just for inspiration, but making my own recipes usually that may include other things or I've done it a different way. I guess I put it that way as well. <clears throat> and I hope y'all doing okay on this lovely day. Here in Tucson, it's about 60, 65 or something. I don't know, 60 something degrees outside, I believe. And like I said, I'm just mixing this on up. I gotta actually cut the other um, the other, let's say oranges, lower the other lemons. 
<laughs> now I'm thinking about oranges, Lord. So let me go ahead and get these this cut up. So okay. And I'm not taking the rind off. Um I normally don't take the rind or the skin off for most vegetables I cook or what. Like I said, that's just me, but you can take them off if you want. That's kind of up to you. Like I said, I'm just throwing these lemons on in here. There's no rhyme or reason. Just throw them on in there. So I'm going to end up mixing them up anyway. Like I said, this shouldn't stick to the bottom because I'm going to put the um the butter in there too. So should be all right. Let me throw this on over here. All right, lemons cut up. I got one more lemon. I don't think I'm going to use this, but I do have, um, well, you know what, since I already got it, but no, I'm not going to cut it up. But like I said, the other um, piece of lemon that I had that I was going to squeeze over the top, that's what I'm about to do right now. Just squeeze this on over the top of this, y'all. So I can already have some lemon flavor on it, too. And I am going to season this, too, y'all, just to let y'all know. I'm not gonna just put a plain, but just lemon on it. But I'm gonna be actually, actually season it too with some um, lemon pepper seasoning. Get that seed and um, some garlic as well, actually. Let me get my hands washed. Let me get this on here. All right, y'all, like I said, I'm gonna season this with some garlic and, and I'm using minced garlic. I'll do a little bit of minced garlic and the, um, where's my little small spoon? Minced garlic, what's it called? Minced garlic and um, the powder garlic too. What is it called? Garlic powder, I guess. I'm gonna set that in there so I can actually sprinkle this. Now, look, like I said, y'all, I love garlic. Y'all probably, some of y'all probably know that already, <laughs> but I usually use garlic in a lot of stuff, but I just love it. And I'm not measuring this, so it's probably about, I don't know, a few tablespoons, probably about two or three, probably three tablespoons. But like I said, it shall be good, I'm sure. Here we go. Because I usually don't measure these type when it comes to like the garlic and all that kind of stuff. So I just put whatever I think will be okay in there. It's usually what I usually do. So and like I said, I'm putting some of this lemon pepper seasoning all on top of this too. And you can put as much as you like. That's kind of up to you all. And some garlic powder. Putting some of that on there too so it won't be so plain going. Now I want to put some of this little, this thyme lemon salt, just a little bit. I'll show y'all the bottle shortly, y'all. Give me a second. But it's dry thyme and it's like a lemon salt. Not gonna put that much though, but uh oh. I got this from I think Marshall's or something. I don't know where I got it from, but you should be able to find it at your local groceries or something similar to this. Yes, I put it that way. If you want, if you want to use time, you don't have to. Like I said, that's what I was doing, but you don't have to. You can use whatever you want to use. And now, y'all, I am back to the norm butter. Putting butter in her too. As soon as I get this butter off the, off the fork, I guess I'm putting butter in her too. Uh oh, we go. I may need a little bit more butter than this. We'll see. I think I will need a little bit more butter. But oh well. Um, put it on there. <laughs> Let me get that and cut it up. I got a green bean on the bottom of this, but it's, <laughs> it's all going back into the same thing. But yeah, I'm gonna use a little bit more butter on this, y'all. Just a tiny bit more, maybe like a few packs more. And I'm gonna have to get another fork. So I can't put that on there with this. Putting it back into the fridge. All right, got a new fork. And like I said, y'all, this will bake. Um, the chicken's gonna be baking for about maybe about forty minutes. It may. It just depends on how long it takes for all the chicken to get finished. If it's longer than that, then it'll be longer than that. But I'm just gonna say right now for forty minutes. But it may be a little bit longer than that. Even though chicken fast seems to cook a little bit quicker than. At least to me, or a little bit more even too than other things too. But okay, I think that's enough butter, y'all. Yeah. Uh oh. 
So like I said, you can cook. I'm going to cook these potatoes. You can, like I said, cook it until they're done, until they feel good to you. However you feel like eating your potatoes, I put it that way. Um, some people like them still kind of um, firm. I like mine soft. Um, it just depends on what you want on Saturday. So, uh-oh. Like I said, I'm just going to be mixing this on up, y'all. Nothing special about it. Just being, just getting everything mixed up. I put the seasons on it, and I got the garlic on it, too. So I have to get it mixed up anyway. Uh-oh. And like I said, it should not stick to the bottom of this pan because I have the, um, uh-oh, all this butter in here. So it should be all right once it starts to melt. All right, y'all. So like I said, this is the meal for today. Chicken thighs, everything lemon and garlic, the chicken thighs, and potatoes, and green beans, y'all. Like I said, this is the meal for today. And it should be tasty. Um, I'm definitely, which I ain't going to say should, it will be tasty. So I'm going to actually share some pictures with y'all later on. But like I said, this is going into the oven. Um, let me get myself back up here. But like I said, this is going into the oven. So um, later on, I'll show share some pictures with y'all so I can see what it turned out to look like and that kind of thing. So... I want to thank y'all for tuning in and look for more of these cooking demos. I'm sure some baking demos as well. So I'll check y'all later. Um, have a great evening, y'all.